Hello there. I'm happy to have another chance to uh, have a little conversation here um, about the uh, the idea of homelessness and and, um, and some of the principles, precepts behind it that maybe contribute to to it a little bit. The uh, the um, and nothing personal, but just general principles that that maybe we can think about. One of them is the concept of, of maturity, and I don't I don't mean maturity on a, on a sort of a personal basis, but again, just uh, just in, on a level of, uh, of more general uh, principles behind it. Um, in looking at uh, maturity just uh, uh, just on an organic basis, uh, you think of, a, of an infant. See, an infant doesn't take care of himself. <laughs> he can't take care of himself at all, and pretty much, uh, and that's pretty much almost across the board in the, in the entire mammal world, right? I mean, um, sometimes with fish or, or reptiles, uh, it's different. But uh, with with the humans and, and other mammals, usually their parents have to really kind of take care of them, and uh, they really can't make it on their own. Um, and if you take a three-year-old, say, and you send him to the store to buy uh, food for the family, what's he what's he going to buy? Well, he's going to buy everything that uh, that he likes, and it's probably going to be a bunch of candy and you, you know that that sort of thing. Um, but hopefully by the time that uh, individual becomes, oh, say, 15 years old, 13 even, uh, when he goes to the store, he's going to begin to think about what is good for other people, too, and not, not just for himself. And certainly he's going to still get what he likes. But he may think about Grandpa now because Grandpa has diabetes and might need something there, broccoli maybe. <laughs> you know, things that even he, he wouldn't like, he, he might buy because, because he's beginning to mature. He's beginning to be able to take care of himself more and then that gives him room right then after after that to begin to consider other people as well in his in his uh, in his concerns and so if if we think about that a little bit the question uh, comes then where where what at what point do we reach uh, a level of maturity would it be when we can take care of ourselves or when we actually have a little bit extra so that we could take care of someone else um, and I think the answer to that question kind of depends on whether or not you're, you're a reptile or, or, or a mammal. <laughs> I mean, it's certainly at some point in the, in, the, in, the, uh, uh, in the world of nature, I guess, uh, a creature will reach a level where they can sustain their own um, existence on their own, but they really don't have room um, for others, and so they really should not yet have offsprings. <laughs> But at some point, they get to, let's say if it's a, like a mountain lion or something, right? they, they may be able to hunt with the proficiency to feed themselves, uh, but can they hunt and get extra so that, so that they can feed children, their offspring? Um, and so this, by this measure, um, maturity ends up um, uh, being, for mammals, different than it is for snakes. I mean, snakes, they just, for example, lay an egg, and then they leave. <laughs> and then finally, when the egg hatches, a little snake squirms out, and he has to go fend for himself. And uh, a lot of, I mean, that, that's a lot of times where fish and, um, and snakes and stuff, they lay a lot of eggs. Uh, because not many of their offspring are going to survive. They don't have anyone to care for them when they're in that vulnerable state. Well, looking at the principles uh, behind sort of maturity like that, we, we can... We can look through that prism, sort of, and, and evaluate uh, ourselves and, and other members of our community in that way. And uh, sometimes, when we say maturity and immaturity, it's taken as sort of a personal measure of of either it's either a, a compliment or an insult. But actually, that's not the way that we mean it here. Uh, and people do need to people who are mature, obviously, in some ways, um, may be immature in other ways. Uh, and that may not be as true for uh, members of the animal kingdom as it is for members of the human race because humans are way more complicated. Uh, and so in our complication, portions of our complications can, can mature while other parts of us may be, uh, may be lagging behind in some ways. Or, uh, of course, there's also other reasons for uh, people being in a uh, sort of a, a state of deprivation reasons other than uh, just personal maturity uh, and so it's, it's really more complicated than just than just the, what we've been laying out here as far as as far as this def, this definition of uh, maturity but uh, you know you can apply maturity uh, by that definition to our, our financial situation um, 
And uh, certainly when we uh, come into this world, we, we don't have much earning power. Uh, and unless we can eat grass, right, we, we, need to, uh, we need to develop that as we, as we grow. And hopefully at some point we, we are earning enough to sustain ourselves. And then uh, from there, we, if we want to have uh, other members of our family, we need to think about uh, our capability of, of supporting those members. And at some point, if we are supporting them well and something major happens, and, uh, then we can regress in maturity, can't we? we can, uh, by that definition, we can regress in our ability to care for ourselves even, not to mention um, other members of our family, other, other uh, charges that are in our care. And so by, uh, by this measure, by this uh, definition, um, uh, we can all evaluate ourselves, and we can certainly evaluate uh, those around us. And uh, one, of the, um, one of the precepts that are involved with uh, dealing uh, with people who are, are, are not necessarily mature is that how, how do you deal with them? Do you browbeat them? Do you push them? Do you marginalize them? <laughs> do you do you demoralize them? Is that is that how that's dealt with? Well, I suppose in some cases people do that. Uh, parents I've seen do that sometimes, sadly, to their children. But that's not normally the most effective way to deal with with an, uh, a case of immaturity. The most effective way to deal with that is to say, well to help, and. Not to help in a way that you provide crutches for them or that you shield them from the consequences of their action or their inaction or whatever. You don't want to shield them. You want, you want people, you want your children to actually experience the consequences of real life. But you guard them a little bit and you guide them and you give them as much wisdom as you can as they, as they grow out of your controls. And then when they're out of your controls, then, you know, uh, come, uh, hopefully they're going to go to the point that you the direction that you pointed them, and then also hopefully that you pointed them in the right direction as parents. Um, what we're dealing with in the, in the area of homelessness, however, is not the parent-child situation. I mean, I suppose there's some of that with, uh, with some of the younger members of the homeless community that are under their parents' care, but that's not our, that's not our uh, purview to, to get involved too much there. The point is, is to look at uh, the approach in helping people who have either never matured in certain ways, uh, or who have regressed to an immature state uh, in certain ways regarding the ability, ability to care not only for themselves but for those under their, under their charge. And so what's, uh, what is our resolve then as a society? I mean, one way is just to cover our, our face and not look. <laughs> and uh, another way is to, uh, to yell at them or, or be angry at them or blame them, say that they uh, you know, need to just get up, get busy. And that there may be some truth to that too, but uh, in a case by case basis. But you know that's not a, a very uh, productive uh, approach. The most productive approach is to is to deal with the situation in an intelligent and kind, patient and helpful way. And that that would be the recommendation here. And I, I hope that you can see that through sort of the 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 uh, window of uh, perspective that that's been provided here in this video. And I think that uh, uh, some of these precepts carry through over, actually Larson Financial talks about some, maybe some of these precepts as well in, in involving how uh, we mature um, in, an, in a natural way in, in, this, in this financial environment we find ourselves in. And so hopefully this uh, video has helped you a little bit in your perceptions and, um, and uh, we'll probably be on this theme a little bit more in the future too. So uh, hopefully that you'll be around and, and, and check out some of the future videos and, uh, and be there for that. But I appreciate your attention on this one, and, and uh, we'll hope to talk to you again quite soon. Thanks.